Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can generate an order which is specified by yourself. So I'm using objective oriented programming. I'm generating an object and this object is this new order. And I will release this order in an enter block. So the idea behind that is, for instance, you generate production orders based on the heuristic MRP. And then you would like to specify the starting date, the end date, the amount, how many pieces should be produced. And then you're able to launch that into your simulation model and to continue working. So here is the model which I've already prepared. So here is an answer block where this new order should be released and just for visualization purpose, I have included a delay and then we destroy the agent in the sink. So what else? I have drag and dropped the order into the main. I changed it to population. The reason for that is so that I can see during the simulation how many orders are available in the simulation model. For that, I have specified in advanced uh, in the advanced section for the enter block that um, newborns are added to customer population and the population is exactly this order population which I have dragged and dropped from the main. What else? I'm working with the order. Um, so I've generated a new agent. This agent just uh, consists of two attributes. One attribute is the order ID, which is an integer, and the attribute due date, which is a double value. That's all of the miracle. And then I'm using an event after two seconds. And after those two seconds, the idea is that the new order should be generated and released to the enter block. So normally you would go to the enter block, um, no, to the event block, of course, and you would generate a new order. Um, um, the new order is called um, order. The type is order and I'm initiating it in immediately with new order. And if I um, enter now to test uh, data, so the due date is 10 and the attribute ID is 10 as well. And if I release that um, to the enter block, so um, enter x, y, z dot take order, then Unfortunately, we see something strange happening. So I'm starting it. So the order is generated. So that's what we, of course, wanted to have. But if you make sure um, if the data is correct, um, so I'm going here to the action section. And you can see here that I'm printing um, the attribute ID to the console. And um, I expect um, or I want to have um, number 10 on the console. So let's run it again and see what's happening. So we can see it's zero. So it's not working how it should work. And the reason for that is somehow strange. Um, because in Analogic, when Analogic is transferring these blocks into Java code and as well in the event block, um, then there is a function called where all values are deleted, which are within an own generated order. So to overcome um, that issue, I found an interesting function which we can use. And this function is order make parameters are set. So if I use that, then we can run it again. 
we see on the console and then we have an order id of 10. so now we are able to dynamically generate orders release them to the enter block and then we can work within the simulation model another option could be then you would not need those things here that you immediately initialize it the values in the constructor so if you would write for instance here at 10 and here at 10 so the id and the due date are 10 if i run it again and i open the console then we can see that is working as well the problem is um, in that case you have to know the order of your attributes in the other case i show you you're not dependent on the order um, attributes so you can specify them when you need them and how you need them just by calling the attributes which have been defined in the order agent thank you so much for listening to this little tutorial Goodbye.